Uh, good evening to members of the media. Um, I thought we played well, made a few mistakes, but um, I really thought we played well. First half, we were good, we could have scored more. Again, decision making and um, a bit of anxiety sometimes. And then in the second half, we start a bit edgy, they commit one or two more into their press, and then we. We struggle, but we come out a little bit better in the after ten minutes or so. And then, um, ah, but you all saw it, so this is what I want to say to you. Colleagues, questions for the coach? Show of hands, please. That's it. And then, um, Prakash, who referee? Shaban, did he give you explanation? Because I, I literally saw you chasing him. No, I didn't chase him. He asked me to meet him in the tunnel. He, yeah. he didn't want to the talk on the pitch. Behind. Yeah. yeah. Did he give you his explanation as to what happened? Because you kept on asking him, what does the rule say? Yeah, but I don't need an explanation. Because, because guys, it's the third time this season Sundowns has VAR. <laughs> third time this season. Third time. And you are not writing about it. It, both goals are offside. The, f the, the first goal is an offside, the second goal is also offside. And I don't need to be explained, I study the laws of the game very, very well. I don't have my licenses because of fun. I, I went to a coaching school, I studied. The, the, you can ask me about any law of the game, I know the laws of the game. It's one of the most important things to know before you coach. So. But then, yeah. then coach, what does this do to you? Because I saw even some of the players were demonstrating there. Um, you know, shows me that irrespective of the gap that you have at the top, a win is still everything that will work for you. But what does it say if you see what we're being discussed? We feel like we don't swim on lands in this game. No, but it doesn't do. It's two things for me. It's for for me. It's South African football. What does it do? Okay, now everybody watches this game. From worldwide, I, I have people in Europe who watch every single Sundowns game. What do you think they write about South African football? What do you think is their perception of South African football after they see that? So that's the biggest thing. It's not to me. I'm not as important as South African football. The game is going to live beyond me. So what happens to the image, the, the, the reputation of South African football? And every week, coaches must complain about officials. There's a there's Middendorf was complaining, and that's the people I feel sorry for. Actually, it's not even it's not even me. I feel sorry for Amazulu. I feel sorry for Pulukwane City. I feel sorry for for Spurs. I feel sorry for the teams that are at the bottom there, the ones that we've taken points from, and now they, we give points through the referees to to the, to Swallows. So it's 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 not me. I'm I'm not as important as the game. And I'm not as important as the, the other clubs. The clubs are fighting for their lives. And, and then Richards Bay will get relegated by one point. And then what are you going to say? And then the coach of Richards Bay gets fired because the team is relegated. What are you going to say? You're all going to write, oh, the coach is fired. And you forget how the coach got fired. No, guys, it's, it's, it's not right. But anyway, it's, it's, it is what it is. You see where, where we are going every week. I, I, uh, Amazulu coach was complaining, poor guy, he was, I'm not going to do that. Me, I'm not going to cry, unfortunately, but I will tell you as it is. Unfortunately, for the first time, I will speak. I haven't spoken about the referees the entire season. I, this time, I will speak because that is very bad. And that's not a mistake. That You know when we make mistakes, ne? it's mistakes, but that's not a mistake. The, ref, the, the, the assistant ref, he, he, puts, he, he puts the flag for offside. Then they consult. Who are you consulting? Who was Jelly consulting? Okay, you tell me who was Jelly consulting. He went to the assistant ref. He stood there. He put the hand. He's, he's talking to somebody. Who is he talking? VAR. You have VAR in South Africa now, all of a sudden. And it's the third time this season. Matlati, you must write it. No, Matlati, I'm waiting for you guys to write. It's, it's very sad. And it's also sad for you guys. Because now you must focus on, on things that are not football. So you're going to ask me questions about things that are not football. 
Are you, are you guys not football journalists? You should be talking to me about tactics. What happened there? What happened there? Yes, of course. And everyone makes mistakes. My team made mistakes. For sure we, make, we made mistakes. But, but those, those decisions were not mistakes. Eh? And especially with consultation. Ah, you want to tell me you make a mistake, then you, go, you consult. And then you want us to label it as a mistake foot. No, guys. I That's why the players also do corrections. That's why I do corrections. If my team makes mistake after mistake after mistake, I must be called to the jury. I must be put to the sword if my team continues to make mistakes. The, 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 the third team in our league, every single game, is making mistakes. And what are we doing? We keeping quiet, we are seeing this thing, and we are quiet. I'm asking you guys, I'm saying to you guys, you are quiet. And then he's, he laughs. Cedric, the fourth official, he laughs. He's smiling and he laughs and he tells my players, from, from word go, and he tells my players, I have a bad heart, you also have bad hearts. What is that got to do with football? How disrespectful is that? It's, it's wrong, guys. It's wrong, wrong, wrong to the core. And there's no excuse for it, sorry. Coach. Good evening, Kat. Um, <coughs> I don't even know how to come back from, from that, but I'll try. Um, <coughs> this is the third game in a row where this team looked different from previous weeks. You said you don't like what you're seeing. Even Ronan said that you said like he wasn't supposed to say, but he mm. said that they don't like where the team is, which is understandable. Mm. For, the, for the third game in a row, your team looked hungrier, looked more energetic. The yep. intensity was there in the first 10 to 15 minutes. But the one thing that remains constant is they, they keep playing with their, with their food. That's mm. like no, 100 percent. Lucas easily scores that. He scored a better, uh, more difficult. 100 percent. But today he decides to pass it, launch Shalili there, and they fluff it as, uh, uh, again. Um, is this a matter of confidence, or do, maybe are they looking to like play for Peter because he hasn't scored in a while? No, <coughs> uh, I, I, to be honest, Ken, I, I don't know. I don't know what my thoughts are on that. Mm. What, what I do know is I'm very patient with the players because they are very patient with me. Mm. And so, when they make mistakes, mm. I will support them. I will protect them. And 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 they are human also. You know, to play, to play the number of games that they are playing, to put the effort there. And like I said today, I was happy with the performance. I watched uh, our previous game against Tux four times, four times, and every time I watched it my feeling was we played well you know so even today i'm sure when i watch it and i and i just hope i'm i'm not i'm not diluted or my feelings are not diluted by uh, the mis the misdemeanors you know i will call them misdemeanors <laughs> it's, it's, mis it's, it's mischief it's, it's 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 not correct and i hope my feelings are not diluted by that because really 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 uh, i did think we played well and we created enough opportunities to score but Maybe we have to learn, you know, and we have to learn the hard way, because because as you say, sometimes you have to be a bit more ruthless, and we have to, maybe we have to learn when it's painful, you know, and the pain must come through draws like this and uh, points that are dropped like this, because one hundred percent, I don't believe performance-wise we should have dropped two points today. Of course, uh, there's a question you in Africa. Because <coughs> you saw our players are coming off with an injury. Yeah. What's the status of his injury? Do you know by any chance what happened? No, no, no. He just felt a, a small tweak. And I'm very proud of him because uh, I always say to them once you feel something small, you're out. You have to and don't take risks. He scored a good goal, and uh, he could have celebrated and and continued to play because you know the the feel good hormones they take over the pain. But he was professional enough to say, "Hey, I've got something," um, and I'm I'm very proud of him for for that. Sorry, Coach. Yeah, sure. Just to, to bring a bit of context. Yeah. Um, leading up to this, uh, one of the questions about some of the decisions that yeah. sort of went in Sunderland's favor, you said that the team had a bit of luck and sort of was winning by God's grace. Yeah. And, and this is sort of, uh, and, and I know that you've told your time quite a lot in terms of being critical about referees. Yeah. But what do you think it does in terms of the biggest scheme of things that uh, coaches tend to shy and not necessarily approach the subject directly when they're on the right Receiving end. 
Yeah, but only when it goes against them. And then what do you think that does in terms of, of raising genuine concerns? Because it, whatever you raise after a defeat, uh, regardless of the goodness where it comes from, it's still taken with a pinch of salt. Is, is it not salt because of the defeat? Yeah, but we didn't lose. Yeah, uh, I use that. Yeah, we didn't lose. You can't say defeat because it's not a defeat. We didn't lose. Oh, defeats for sundowns are draws. Is that is that what we are trying to? Is the perception we are trying to create? No, no, no. But it's you no. Know, but uh, I I understand I understand what you're saying. Um, I, you want me to take you? You 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 spoke about um, you spoke about luck. Okay, let me go to it. Which which incident? Younger, right? Correct. Uh, you are alluding to that. Did the whole circumference cross the line? No. And it is, is, is an inch, okay, it's still, there is, the whole circumference did not cross the line. That is not a bad refereeing decision. That is luck. Because we were favored by God in that situation. The, the whole circumference of the ball did not cross the line. Well, you, maybe you talk about the penalty against Spurs. If a foul starts from outside the box but continues into the box, the referee has to award the penalty. That, those are the laws. It's not me. It's, those are the laws. And then, for those situations to take place, if I can call them luck, then it's luck. But I will talk, because I didn't talk against Pulukwane City, it was 0-0. Zero, zero. I didn't talk about the consultation with VAR. But guys, you want to slap me three times and I must look the other way? No, no, guys. As men, God, God. No, no. And then uh, it's, it's okay. Let's let's not talk about it because now it doesn't favor you. It this the score is two two. We pick up a point against a team that's beaten quite a lot of teams and is fighting. It's difficult to play swallows. It's tough. It's even tougher when they have support. Mm. No comfort. No, but they have support. Don't they have support? <laughs> I saw the stands. Yeah, you see, they had support. They had support. You are, you are right. They had support. Um, Coach, maybe also just uh, because of, of the results, and let's just make it lost in the everything that has happened. But I think it's the first time uh, since that Merit's big game that you scored two goals. Maybe just uh, how much of a, of a boost is that uh, ahead of this big game that you have coming up? And uh, maybe could you just could you just talk us through the logistics of uh, getting to to Tunis? Um, um, yeah, no, it's, it's, it's good. We scored two goals. We could have scored more, to be honest, and scored in open play, which I'm happy about. And we created a lot of situations. I thought even against uh, Tux, we created better situations. We had some 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 good moments. Um, but but the players are trying. I can't, I can't fault them for effort. I, I really, really can't. And maybe sometimes it's... You see, like even Lucas to shoot, and he tries to pass to Lodge. And see, they're trying to be good people because Lucas has been uh, under a bit of pressure with selfishness and being branded as a bit of self. And I can understand because because I'm with him every single day. I see him. I see him at training. I understand what this thing is doing to him. I also see him when I take him off. He's upset with me. He says, "No, I want, I, why are you take me off? I want to score." So, so I understand. He wants more. He wants to score. He wants to play, but. I said to him, we have to think about even more games and, and, and the situation. So, uh, And then the, the, the one for Peter, Peter tries to, to, to wait. He says, Lodge called for it, okay, then, but he must score. And then Lodge wants to try to pass also and make an extra pass in the box instead of, but he called for it. Oh, that's what Peter's. But okay, guys, um, I'm proud of them for the effort. We could have done better with, uh, with some of the situations to score. And we could have done better with some of the situations that we conceded from. One hundred percent, I agree. And uh, but uh, of course, I'm going to feel upset about the refereeing decisions. Of course, I am. And we can't keep Mickey Mousing ar around it as Sundowns because every time something bad happens to Sundowns, we we're the nice guys, you know. We, and then the next game, oh, again we get slept. Oh, again we get slept. But we work very, very hard. Do you know how how, how little these players see their families? We were playing just now, Friday, we were playing. We are playing again on Monday. We are traveling tomorrow to, to, to Tunisia. 
You know how many games I have to watch? You know how many training sessions I have to do? You know how many corrections and uh, hours of corrections I have to do? And then you must come and you, 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 you drop points like this? I, it's, it's not correct. And I, 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 can't, I can't say it's correct. It's, it's a pity. It's, a very, it's, a, it's, it's very sad. I feel sorry for them because I went into the change room. I see dejection. I see sad faces. I said, ah, I feel so sorry for them because because I think, I think they beat a very good opponent today. But we were also beaten by a very good opponent. <laughs> uh, coach, um, obviously this country uh, that you're going through now, you know, with all this uh, football that you play, you know, beyond it being uh, physically testing, I, I'll suppose there's also a mental test to it, you know, how much of that maybe is taking a strain on you, you know, and the team, when you see the faces of the players, you know, maybe sometimes it's not physical fatigue, but it's mentally draining, you know, you're traveling tomorrow, they're not seeing their families, you know, a combination of all these factors. Mm, no, it's true. But I, I think they're responding well, and that's the most important thing. Ben, I don't, uh, no one's going to feel sorry for us, you know. No one's going to We have to continue to, to represent this club every single game the best way we can. We have to represent the supporters and try to make them happy as, as much as we possibly can. And we do it for the fans, we do it for our supporters, we, 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 we sacrifice for them. We, 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 we go every single day, we, we were trading yesterday, it's a Sunday, we are playing again, today is a Monday, we are traveling tomorrow, uh, 11, 12 hour flight, we, we have to play again in Tunisia. On Saturday we have to come back, we have to play again, Sekukune. But who's going to feel sorry for us? Nobody's going to feel sorry for us. So we have to man up and, uh, and, and do the best that we can. And that's, and that's unfortunately what, what our lives are about, unfortunately. It's heavy is the head that carries the crown. Coming here, I was listening to one of the little shows uh, in the way, but what must happen? Because surely, you know, uh, in your next game, probably the same thing. I mean, we just, people just get angry, and then after a few days, we come down, it starts again. What must happen? And also, do you think the league can suffer taking this representative? Um, the guys who have called for professionalization of referees for the longest time, these guys are professional, you know. What must happen? Uh, you know, I, I think I've said a lot about this situation uh, already, but I, I know if I don't answer your question, it, it might, it, it, you know, it's, it's and, and for you, I have to do it because you're a good guy and you're always there in the, in the, in the press conferences, in the games. But I must say to you, I think I take the same stance as, uh, as Middendorp when he says, you see a lot being done for the qualifications of coaches. Uh, coaches have to do this and that and that. You know, I, I, I sometimes see, and it's unofficial, but it breaks out, you know, even before the season starts, there's tests that referees have to undergo. And then you hear, oh, someone failed a test. And then a few weeks later, you see him officiating a game, but you heard with this guy failed a, a refereeing test. He, he, he passed the fitness, he didn't pass the fitness. Team. So I don't know. I don't. I don't. Who who has to? I don't know. If, I don't. I don't know. Is it the PSL or is, is it South? I don't know. I think it's South as the custodians of football. Maybe they have to look at this situation because it's even it's even in a in a in a, st a state where how many of our referees are doing international games? And why are they not doing international games? And just as much as we want to be represented by players internationally and all of that, World Cup who who's gone? And for how many years we've had uh, Zakele always representing us? We have Tom always. Who's coming from there after? Champions League, who's doing games for Champions League from South Africa? World Cup, who, uh, friendly games. Even a friendly, yeah, 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 Mauritania and <laughs> Chance Aunali, South African ref. No, but you're laughing. But really, really, that, uh, that should reflect as to the state of this situation. Because if they were good enough and their work spoke for them, they would be doing more international games and featuring more on a, on a global stage. 
But we are just, we are sitting here and it's an easy solution. Ah, let's get VAR. But VAR is also run by an official, a human being. So what stops the same human being who, who J, I need to know who J. Lee was talking to. <laughs> what stops that person from saying, ah, uh -uh, it's, it's a goal. You see, it's, it's calls from a person that sits behind and is reviewing this thing. He still has to make a call. And that's, and that's let's go to the, 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 the younger situation. Where, where the, the VAR has to intervene on very obvious situations. So VAR says to the referee, hey, there is not sufficient evidence to suggest that you've made a wrong call. Do you get what I mean? But that's being honest. And still somebody who's sitting behind VAR needs to say to the referee, hey, 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 Cabadino Mango was offside and he was a meter away from Divine Longa. Which defender you think is, is relaxed and, and composed when he has a guy, a striker in an offside position breathing down his neck? And maybe we don't understand because maybe we didn't play professional football and we don't, un that's me. But I'm, I'm looking at this situation, I'm saying, if I was in that situation, I would also be unsure what is happening. And I don't see the flag, but I see that this guy is, is completely offside. And if I make a mistake, this, this thing is a problem. So is that not interfering with play? That's, th that's what the law says. Um, coach, just a little bit on the game. Um, Positioning, we had 78, Soros 22. We had six on target, they had five. How do you reflect to such stats? Um, besides the, um, you know, stats, your stats, the stats. Your stats are, are very difficult. <laughs> Oof, I stats. You know, I, I must tell you, I'm, I, I really was, uh, I'm, I'm very fond of, of data. Um, um, but I, I, I've, I've, I've come to realize, and this was a conversation actually I was having with an analyst from one of the teams, uh, a big team. And he, in fact, he's a, he's a recruitment analyst and he has to use data to try to help the team to recruit. And he said to me, you, you must understand one thing, in, in business, in every space where they use numbers, numbers can always be manipulated to suit a certain narrative or perspective that wants to be created. So uh, you, you, that 70% ball possession is, you want to say we were dominant, yeah, you look at it. You want to say we were wasteful, you also look at it. It's true. And then what, what, what do you talk about? It's, it's what you want to talk about. And the, the people who use data is sometimes, okay, let me ask you a, a question. And, and this is for all of you. Well, the, the game, the game ne, of Brazil, Germany, do you know what was the data for that? For who had the most shots? Was it 7 2? 7 0 with the World Cup? What was the score? 7 1. You know who had the most shots? The losing team. You know who had the most possession? <laughs> the losing team. You know who had the big chances and the highest XG? The losing team. If you don't believe me, go and verify and check. I, I 100%. I, because I, I, I talk to people who understand this thing. So sometimes it's, it's very difficult to, to analyze a game based on only on data. Because football is a game that's got so many other things that, that, are, that are involved. So many other things. So. That's it. Coach, maybe a bit on what you're expecting in Tunisia, just before you guys leave. Hostility, uh, tough conditions, a good team. They, they won yesterday. I, was, I watched a little bit with uh, Dale Solomons and the analysts. Um, um, but yeah, let's, let's see first. I, I have to now swallow. Excuse the pun, but I have to know. <laughs> no, no, sorry, I didn't. I really, didn't, I didn't. Yeah, but I just, I have to now uh, get over the feelings and, and. Um, fortunately, the team is swallows, ne? <laughs> yeah, swallows. <laughs> Morocco swallows. Yeah. <laughs> I love this club anyway, and people know I love this. Club. Uh, and it's and uh, by the way, by the way, Swallows are a good team. Uh, I like. I've always told you. I watch so many of their games. I like Musanya Dama, big time. 
I like the leadership of this club. Uh, I've got big, big respect for the chairman and the hierarchy of the club. Um, I, 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 and it's a team from Soweto. So last season, when we dropped points, I said, if we can drop points against anybody, I would accept if it's Solos and Musenyata, and I got into trouble. And now today you're going to say, I'm going at the, it's not a, it has nothing to do with Solos. Uh, the football club. I am very, very disappointed with uh, the officiating today, and that's and that's fact. Thank you, colleagues. Thank you.